All right, guys, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blow through this stuff rather quickly. Uh, this is what we have left of the box of stuff to go through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip through this. Anything of interest, we're gonna stick in that pile over there. And I'll kind of do a reveal at the end. And if I find anything really, really cool, I will cut in to show you what it is. We got empty boxes, loading the recycling. That's some glass recycling yet. Clothing donation bags. So I'm gonna speed this process up because it is almost flea market time and I wanna have this shed empty because I'm actually winning another storage unit. So hopefully we'll get that one. And I gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. So you may see me at the end or I may cut in. Stick around. All right, this totally just freaked me out. This is just the creepiest thing I have found yet. This little box. All right, you ready to get creeped out? In three, two, one. Their eyes. I think he had fake eyes. Those are just too creepy. Oh my God, they were in this mug. That is just, ah, uh, creeped out. Um, this is like cassette tapes. There's wallets in here. This I think was a box from her father. And she did not get along very well with her father. What's this thing? Laser line. Oh, CDs. Okay. CDs, that's a kind of cool case. Hopefully we'll find the boxes for it. But anyway, that was just creepy. I had to let you know what that was. Very, very creepy. All right, if I find anything else, I'll let you know, but that, bleh. all right, bye. Okay, we have finally reached the end. And here we have the dresser and a little shelf, as you can see. Everything else is out of here. This pile here is all clothing that's going to get donated. Uh, there are some blankets, uh, some bags of blankets that I will donate to the local animal shelter. Um, there's some empty boxes and some empty totes in over here. Um, that's actually paperwork in there that I'm going to burn in my trash can. Um, in here we got a Build-A-Bear Winnie the Pooh. And a couple empty boxes. Unfortunately, I did not find the items that belong in them boxes. But, Build-A-Bear Winnie the Pooh. Uh, we got a tote here of stuffed animals. There are quite a bit of these. These are guns. There's some Tweeties. No, I believe this is a gun as well. But, um, let's move over here. We'll start at this end. We got a very big Winnie the Pooh. In this tote here, there's a bunch of CDs, uh, board games, Scrabble, wind chimes, bird feeders, miscellaneous items. This is all kitchenware. Uh, back here, we got some more kitchenware car cleaning stuff, arts and crafts stuff, kitchen stuff, uh, CDs back there with some uh, Avon mugs. That is an old um, pitcher and bowl set. We have more, that's all full of CDs. They, they do not have the cases. However, inside with the CD, they have their, their book. So all you would need would be empty CD cases. But there's tons of them in here. These here are all stuffed animals. They are all Boyd's Bears. There's an entire tote of Boyd's Bears bears in here. So there they go all the way to the bottom. Yep, another Boyd's. That one's kind of cool. He's articulating. He is a bear in a bear costume or bear in a fox costume but anyway some of these might be retired and if they are they're probably worth a few bucks I'll have to look some of them up there's some also some Disney in there we got a pink Christmas tree we got a scrap metal pile 
This I thought was really cool. I think this might actually go for a doll. What I'll do is when I set up at the boot, when I set up at the flea, I'll probably put that big poo bear sitting on that. That's kind of cool. It's cast iron on the ends. It's not plastic. I couldn't find any markings on it. I don't know if they call that a salesman sample or something, but I think it's actually for dogs. But he'll look cool in there. Uh, brand new bedspread. That's a little child's uh, rocker, fold up rocker. There's some really nice older blankets there. Those are pretty cool. That little table will probably get taken by my editor for her orange tree in the, in the fall. Um, the last stuff we took out of the unit was this bookcase and we got this little seat. Now there's a couple things on here I thought were really cool. Uh, this I also have to look up. It is a Simplicity or a Palm Pilot type of thing. It is in there. All the paperwork's in there. The charger's in there. So I'm going to have to look that up and see if that's actually work anything. So that was pretty cool. Ooh, yeah, as I throw it. An old Texas Instruments computer. I know some of these can be worth a couple bucks. I do have the book somewhere else. I'll have to find it. But we have the book for that. A really cool little jewelry box, which was empty. But I thought it was a cool little music box. Made in Japan. Uh, this little picture. Thought that was kind of nice. All American made. Has about the artist on the back. Victorian era. Thought that was cool. Some new paint stuff. Can always use new paint stuff. This thing here. This gap bag. The lid is not here. However, that is a signed 1997 NFL NHL Eastern Conference Champions by uh, John LeClaire. Number 10, John LeClaire. So that's kind of cool. Never been worn. Uh, Would have been nicer had the lid to the case been in there. If you can actually just reach in and touch the hat. So I may get a case for that. Or try and figure something out so nobody screws it up. But I think that should just about do it. Yeah, I think we... And I got all my recycling. So my plan now is I'm going to take the recycling. Take all the scrap boxes. I'll probably keep them for the flea. Um, but yeah, this would fill my truck. Just this pile. And I probably have four or five more bundles of that actually what i'm going to do is i will show you what i have in the basement already stacked up this i'm going to stack back in here except for the boyd's bears because i want to take them in and maybe do a little research so i'm going to sign off for a moment here take the recycling i'll go in i'll show you exactly what the size pile that i have for the auction or for the flea markets and we'll go from there so let me get this all cleaned up and i'll be right back see you in a bit okay we are back from the recycling and now i just loaded up all of the bags of donating clothes and blankets i'll probably do that trip tomorrow on my way home from work pass by the place but as for this sunday because this is going to wrap it up for part two of the storage unit Part three will be this Sunday when we go sell. And this is all the stuff that we have. It starts all the way at the door. I mean, there is just a mountain of merchandise. These are two rows deep. All the totes. All the stuff back here. I mean, it's it's a mountain. It's going to take me a couple days of flea marketing to sell it all. Um, two little updates I want to give everybody. One pertains to this unit and one pertains to last flea market auction when I sold all the comic books. I had mentioned that I kept a bunch of the better comics. Well, these aren't the better ones. These, are, these ones are pretty ripped up. But I did keep a bunch of the... This has to go to work. There's a vintage Batman mask. 
but I did keep a bunch of the better older comics so this whole box is full of everything and stuff that I only had one of uh, 35 centers 30 centers I mean it goes all the way down so there's got to be another easily 100 comic books in here that I did not take to the to the flea market to sell so you know we did 135 dollars we started with 75 you know at 135 ish but I mean these are some older 25 cent ones there's 20 cent Captain Americas so there's quite a few old ones in here these ones I'll look up these I may board and bag and the other part of the update involves this storage unit if you looked at part one or two I found some jewelry I found a clash ring uh, I found another ring that had some kind of weird stone in it and a couple bracelets. I did take that stuff to a jewelry, a guy that buys my gold and silver and we tested it and it was 10 karat gold. Um, basically, he gave me a little bit better than scrap value. So just for the gold, the stuff that could fit in my hand out of that unit, I made $160. So... Some places will say that's a good price, some places, some say it's a bad price, but I only paid $30 for the unit. Better to get your money and get out. Um, so yeah, we're going to load up this on Saturday after I get done work. And on part three, when I open the part three up, I'll show you exactly how much of this fits in the truck. But... I think I can get a lot of this in there on the first try plus I still have a pile about half this size in the shop or in the shed out there to go as well so yeah uh, this is a really good $30 unit I'm probably just gonna sell everything a buck a piece whatever doesn't sell is either gonna go to the junk auction once I get a mountain of it or it'll go to donate depending on what's left so that's going to wrap it up for part two it's hot i'm tired but however i have to do my stupid dad joke i was i have two of them but i just told this one to cue and he totally groaned at it so this has to be the winner so my stupid dad joke is this what do you call a chicken looking at lettuce? Chicken sees a salad. I know, it's bad. They're getting worse. Um, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Um, our subscriptions are growing slowly but steadily. Um, I think if I hit 5,000 by the end of this year which is only a couple months or five months away i will do another major giveaway this one will be a little better than the last one not that there was anything wrong with the last one um but yeah and i think i might have to get maybe a, a select number of shirts maybe 20 20 shirts it's made up with a logo and it looks like it's gonna rain outside i got my windows down um but yeah if there's if there's uh, anybody interested in that, be on the lookout. Uh, send us some snail mail. Our address is listed below. All that kind of fun stuff. So, thanks for watching. Keep living that auction life. See you next time. Have a good day. Keep living a dream. Yada, yada, yada. And all that nonsense. Bye.